So what does eighteen dollars get you? Oh yeah. This is going to take that Xeon processor that I just got, and uh, it's going to bring it to life. Uh, now, I, I don't have 16 gig of memory to put in here unless I take it out of the Dell, so I'm going to start with the 8 that I have. It's two 4 gig sticks. I'm going to put those in here. They're DDR3. Um, I have a way of hooking up by an adapter cable that I had already purchased when I was trying to move that Dell, up, um, that motherboard into a different case. But we're going to do it with this one instead. And it's going to go into the pink hot box there behind me. Yeah, yeah, I know. But anyway. Uh, yeah. So let's have, let's have some fun. Oh, by the way, came with the back plate. All right. So to get some of this to work properly, I had to get some adapters and some cables. I, I could have um, gone the long way around, I guess you could say. And what it ends up being is I probably... Quite honestly, I probably could have got a used motherboard for the price of all these cables and all that stuff. But some already had because I did a little bit before. This is a PSU cable. It adapts 8-pin on the motherboard from the 24-pin that's on the power supply. We're going to give that a shot again. I got a couple of fan adapters. Um, these go from the 5-pin that's on the Dell Optiplex mother, or the, on the motherboard to just a regular 4 or 5-pin, a 4, 3 or 4-pin that you find in most fan headers and then a couple of fan uh the front panel headers this will be for that little five pin uh front panel connector that has the on off and the led indicator and all that stuff and there's one further down that uh i believe that's where uh, the regular front panel stuff goes but it, it might include the fan i don't remember it might it might i'll have to look at it but in any case i'm gonna go ahead and do these uh this cost um this cost about 20 bucks for these two eight dollars this one's about 15 bucks i think it's 14 or 15 right now so uh if you add all those together yeah we could have probably got a regular we probably could have got a regular used motherboard that had say a, a b85 chipset or something like that that would house that xeon and uh oh well uh we'll, we'll give it a shot we'll see what it looks like we'll see what it does so obviously, it's a few days later, and the reason why it did take me a little bit longer to try to get this video up is because I, well, I, I had to order the parts. Uh, and yes, and all these have been shot on different days, so it's, it's been a little bit weird. Uh, I did have a little bit, you know, when I tested the motherboard, motherboard worked great. I did have a little bit of an issue with the power supply, the adapter cable for the power supply, and I'll, I'll let you guys kind of listen to that a little bit. But it did work. It, it worked. Uh, the setup itself for the motherboard actually it worked great. So um, yeah, I found it on eBay. It cost me twenty bucks, like eighteen dollars and some odd cents, including tax and, and all that stuff. So it was it was a great buy. The adapter cables did cost a few extra bucks. I think I'm still in underneath the budget. So uh, not that there's a defined budget, but I would like to have spent less than say one of those B85 motherboards I was talking about. I think we did that. And lo and behold. I put everything in the box. I went ahead and connected everything up, and she came right up. Now, a lot of times, there's always something missing. I There's a power switch that didn't get turned on. There's a connector that didn't get added. There's a whatever. There's a such and such. It doesn't matter what it is. There's always something random that causes it not to automatically turn on or give me expected results when I hit the power button. That didn't happen this time. <laughs> it actually came up and worked well. And I think I kind of even like, yes, there's ketchup and mustard on the adapter cables. Okay. I, that can't be helped. Uh, but it's, I don't think that it's not anything I can't take care of or maybe wrap up or, or do whatever. And actually this, this build isn't far from being done. It is well enough. It, it's a good enough build where I can go ahead and start to test now. I've got an RX 480 that I've already explored on the channel previously. I, I went ahead and used that deep cool cooler. There, uh, it is overkill for that Xeon processor. It's only a four core eight thread. It doesn't need that type of tower cooler. However, we did run into some other issues because the socket, the uh, the fan connection or the fan bracket. Uh, is bolted onto the CPU socket, so I couldn't really remove that easily because all the rest of those aftermarket fans are all like clip-on. Uh, you just kind of poke it through the, the motherboard and then turn the little thing. I, I do have a couple of those fans as well, but 
it wasn't going to work as easily. So I went ahead and just used the, the deep cool tower cooler. It works okay. It's got a white LED, sort of like the back fan, sort of like the RX5 480. So that aesthetic with the white LEDs and the pink case, uh, it actually even makes the green PCB on the motherboard look okay. So I'm not upset. So it does work. So what, what kind of performance can I get out of it? Well, right now, all I've started doing is just the basic testing. So that video is going to have to come later. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. Uh, help me make 700. That would be awesome. If I can make 700 within the next month, well on my way to trying to get this channel monetized. In any case, um, it worked really well. I, I don't think I'm going to have any kind of issues. The temperature at no time that I've, I've started testing or trying to do like a CPU, CPU test or anything to check all the cores and all, didn't get above 57 degrees, which is awesome. Now the PC, when I first booted up, does still tell me there's an air sensor problem, and I, I know which connector on the motherboard that is. I just don't have anything to, to bypass it or anything yet. I, I, I'll figure that out. That's not an issue. It does register the uh, correct fan speed um, for the CPU fan and for the case fan, so I'm fine with that. Everything else seems to be fine. And it's just now a matter of just actually doing the testing. And, and I, will, I will go ahead and get to that. Unfortunately, this video is not going to include all the testing, uh, but that's because the parts took a long time to get here, and I've already pushed this video back two days, um, and I'm going to have to try to get back on some kind of cadence, because like I said, I want to do two, two days a week. Um, th yeah, so I owed you guys a video, and so this is what's going on. I do everything with the Xeon did work. I, I've got it in a regular case, used a couple of adapters. I will go ahead and uh, when I do the testing video, I will go ahead and give you guys a full breakdown of what the price would be on a, on a project like this if you guys decided you want to kind of tackle it. Uh, it's not, not that difficult, uh, and I, I haven't found it to be that difficult at all yet, but uh, we're going to see just how it compares. I want to compare it to the 4670 that it originally replaced in the Dell Optiplex. And then I think I want to take a look at comparing it against a four core eight thread from today, maybe with the same graphics card to see how far off maybe it might be or, or if there's opportunities or if a good four core eight thread is just a good four core eight thread. So we'll, uh, we'll kind of see how that works out. Anyway, stay tuned for that. Don't forget to visit me on all the other socials. Uh, I'm starting to be more active on, on thatpaulguy.tech with my tech blog. Uh, buy me a coffee with my just my regular everyday blog. Uh, a couple other things going on as well. Um, we, uh, we'll get there. You know, we'll get there. So if you don't, you know, go ahead, be curious, look around. But if you don't do anything else, do at least one thing for me. And that's be nice to each other. Smile, wave, hold the door open. I mention this in every video, but you would be surprised how just one small act of kindness like that would, you know, change somebody's entire day. There are other things coming up, like uh, the case sitting over there beside me. I still need to try to turn that into my server, but I'm still debating whether it's going to be with uh, platter type hard drives or with all SSD. Uh, it might be some combination of both, but I don't want to go crazy. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, testing on this Xeon processor coming up. Some other things in the works as well. And until I, you know, until next time when I really probably mess something up pretty bad, <laughs> I'll see you later.